Good morning, Bath County High School. Today is Wednesday, December 6th, and this is BCTV. The BCHS Arm Sports Student of the Week is James Watkins. James is a BCH BCHS senior in several of Ms. Bielert's health science classes, including emergency procedures, medical terminology, and principles of health science. Ms. Bielert chose James because James is an exceptional student who always gives 100% effort. His efforts include helping other students when needed, always willing to lend a hand with classroom duties and projects, and his manners and work ethic are admirable. James has a sincere desire to succeed in the health care field, and his daily efforts prove his commitment to this endeavor. It is a pleasure to have James in class, and she looks forward to following his success in life. James has said that Ms. Beeler's classes are not only his favorite classes, but also the most challenging. He says that he tries his hardest in her classes, and she is always there to provide help if needed. James has said that Ms. Beeler always keeps the students busy, whether it's learning over 350 terms for medical terminology or learning about the heart. James plans to study to be an anesthesiologist after high school. He has said that Ms. He has said that he is sure Ms. Beeler's classes will help him down his pathway. Congratulations, James. The Bath County Chapter of Future Business Leaders of America recently held a holiday drive to collect various items for the community. They collaborated with the Youth Services Center at BCHS. The members were able to collect more than 400 items with the Bath for the Bath County community. Pictured are FBLA officers, Sadara Kofer, Michaela Parsons, Abby Henderson, Cole Robinson, Taylin Alderman, Hunter Vance and Bailey Akers. Thanks to everyone who donated. Attention SCCLA members who drew names for Secret Santa. Your gifts are due to Miss Lane or Miss Ramey by December 12th. Be sure to put the name of the person you drew on the gift. Do not just drop off your gift. You must personally hand it to Miss Lane or Miss Ramey. The Beta Club will be visiting Ridgeway Nursing Home from 10 until 11:30 on December 16th. Please let Miss Brandenburg know if you are interested. For anyone that is wanting to place a Christmas order with the SoSo -So Shop, the last day to place an order for Christmas is Thursday, December 7th. Orders will not be taken after this date for Christmas to ensure that the students can complete the orders that are placed. Orders will be completed on a first-come, first-served basis. The Bath County High School Symphonic Band, Jazz Band, Guitar Ensemble, and Percussion Ensemble will perform their Holiday Spectacular on Thursday, December 14th in the BCHS cafeteria. The concert will begin at 7 p.m. and the doors will open at 6.30. And now let's check out our weather forecast for the rest of this week. Well, it's all about the cold. Our temperatures are going to be dropping for the rest of the week. Today we are looking around a high of 40, dropping to 29 this evening. Tomorrow we will not even make it to the upper 30s, dropping to the lower 20s overnight. For Friday or Saturday, our highs will not make it above freezing. And if you look really close, you will notice some precipitation on Friday and Saturday. With the temperatures below freezing, that precipitation will not be rain, but don't get your hopes up. If you're looking for a snow day, we are not going to get that much. You may see some flurries, but that's really about it. Have a great day, and I will see you here tomorrow. Seniors, are your, are your parents part of the Clark Energy Cooperative? If so, Clark Energy Cooperative is now accepting applications for the 2018 Citizen Scholarship Program. The Clark Electric Scholarship Committee selects one student from the schools or group schools for $1,000 scholarship which is sent directly to the school of choice. To be eligible, the student's legal guardian must be a member of the Clark Electric Cooperative and currently receive electric service from the cooperative, and the student must be enrolled in one of the participating schools or in an approved home school setting. For more information, please stop by the counselor's office. In sports tonight, we have the girls basketball team playing at home against Nicholas. On Friday, both the boys and girls basketball teams travel to Menifee, and Saturday, it's the freshman boys basketball playing at George Rogers Clark, while the JV and varsity boys basketball team go to Robertson County. That's all we have for today. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.